Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know everybody's excited. Why is everybody excited? It's season two! Right, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between and outside of the norms and everything else, it's season two of uh, Let's Talk About This, and it's everybody's favorite version of the Let's Talk About genre, I guess you could call it. There's pretenders out there, there's people who say that they're Let's Talk About something or other, and they haven't had a show in five or six years, but here we are. Let's talk about this. Let me cue up my sound effect. Don't want to forget that. You know what we're going to talk about? Peanut butter. Yeah, there we go. Back in the groove like we never left. I had a good uh, I had a good time off. It was a nice little vacation for about a month or so. And um, But here we are again. Here we are again. I'm getting real close to the mic for some reason. But, oh, uh, yes, peanut butter. Peanut butter. This is going to be a great show for those of you who will like it, and a terrible show for those of you with a peanut allergy. And I feel for you, because as I have to mention, I know you know it's coming, I have to mention that I have a similar affliction. I have, of course, in case anyone forgot, and there's a groan in the back by people saying, No, we didn't forget. You mentioned it all the time. Well, I'm lactose intolerant, so I can't, you know, eat dairy things. But dairy things don't, you know, they don't permanently destroy parts of my body like a peanut allergy does, I suppose. So it's not exactly the same. So you're worse off than I am, I suppose. And I feel bad about that. You can't enjoy all the various nut butters there are. Because while we're talking about specifically peanut butter... There are other nut butters available. You've got almond butter and cashew butter. You've got hazelnut spread. I don't know why they don't just call it hazelnut butter. It's like Nutella and stuff, but it's hazelnut spread. I don't know. I didn't come up with these names. I didn't come up with it, so don't yell at me for it, please. Just enjoy the show. So peanut butter. Peanut butter is a particular staple here in my house, of course, we all eat like peanut butter. I don't, I'm not as big into it as the rest of my family is. The rest of my family would li- literally just sit around with a bowl full of peanut butter poured right out of the jar. Although you don't really pour it out of the jar. You scoop it because it sticks. It's sticky. Peanut butter is really sticky. What is peanut butter made of? Of course, it's made out of peanuts. And uh, peanuts are not actually a nut. Ah, I caught you for a loop there. Now you're thinking, oh, this is going to be fake news. This is going to be conspiracy theories. What do you mean it's not a nut? It isn't. It is a legume, which means it's a bean. That's right. A peanut is a bean. Yeah. It is classified as both a grain legume and due to its high oil content and oil crop, and people make peanut oil. And I use peanut oil in my stir fries and things of that nature. Anything that's got a little bit of an Asian twist on it, I usually use the peanut oil. Because that's kind of a hallmark of Asian dishes. Peanut oil. Thai dishes, more than anything else, I think. Thai, Thai peanut dishes. They, um, Thai peanut sauce is a great, 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 great flavor sauce. It tastes a lot like peanut butter. You can kind of make it from peanut butter if you don't have any actual peanuts. It's not quite as good, and you have to do a little bit more work to get it to go right, but you can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. So, peanut butter. What do we do with peanut butter? We put it in everything. 
We make sandwiches out of it. Spread it on toast. Spread it on crackers. It's one of those things like everything else. You can have it for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, everything. You can have it for every meal of the day if you wanted to. Peanut butter. And it's good stuff. And it is. It is high in oil content. And uh, so you can use it in various baked goods as both a flavoring and as an oil substitute, believe it or not. Bet you didn't know that. Speaking of baked goods, you can make cakes, cookies, donuts. Uh, you can make brownies. People put peanut butter and brownies. Yeah. You can make peanut butter fudge. Peanut butter fudge, oh my goodness. Peanut butter fudge is generally made with, uh, with a milk, though, and I can, usually can't eat that, but it's good. Back when I really had a heavy sweet tooth and I didn't know so much about my milk problem, then uh, I would have fudge. But people also put it in granola and smoothies and croissants and all kinds of things. It's great. Excellent. Most people know about the most famous sandwich of all kind. All kind? All time? All kind? Time? Kind? Time? 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 I don't know. All time. All time. And that is the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Typically, it's made with regular, average, just creamy old peanut butter and grape jelly. Concord grape jelly. Although there are some people, even somebody in my own household, who doesn't really like grape jelly. They would prefer strawberry jam, which you can do as well. Or people have made peanut butter and honey sandwiches. And I keep making it, my, I have this weird, I don't really have an accent, but I have a sort of accent in certain words. And one of those words is peanut, because half the time it comes out sounding like peanut. Peanut, rather than peanut. 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 I don't know. I could go on like that for an hour. Oh my gosh, it's the whole show is going to be him trying to pronounce peanut. Peanut, peanut, peanut. But peanuts. Some people enjoy peanut butter and pickle sandwiches. I do. And you'd think it would be weird. And it is kind of weird, but it's not bad. It's great if you like pickles and you like peanut butter. You might like peanut butter and pickles. I had a friend of mine who introduced me to that some number of years ago because as a child, I'd never had that before. And even as a young adult, I hadn't had that before. And then uh, I reconnected with an old school friend who... Uh, who was very dear to me, and she said, here, try this, peanut butter and pickles. And while apprehensive, apprehensive, however I wanted to say that, kind of slipped into the south there, I tried it, and I liked it. And I have some every so often. Peanut butter and pickles. Pickles. Now that you're thoroughly disgusted with me, I suppose, what, uh, what do you guys do with peanut butter? Peanut, peanut. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna keep laughing about that because it's it's funny hearing myself say it. I catch myself. I'm like peanut, peanut, peanut. Uh. And what do you guys do with your peanut butter? I like it in ice cream. I can have some ice creams because ice creams they make a lot of alternatives to uh, to dairy ice cream now. They make them with um, they make them with nuts. They make uh, almond milk ice cream. They make soy ice cream, uh, which gets weird if you leave it in the freezer too long. It gets granular. They make coconut milk ice cream. But you can get peanut butter in those. You can get flavored or you can get swirled. You can get in candy peanut butter cups. Everybody knows the peanut butter cups that you wanted to get at Halloween as a kid and you hoarded them. They were the best thing ever. And when I was a kid you also got Reese's Pieces which were peanut butter. Not to be, you know, I don't want to do any name drops or brand fixtures or anything like that. Other brands of pieces may be available of course. But uh, I always wanted those. And there were always these weird like kind of hard but kind of chewy candies that you would get that were supposed to be kind of peanut butter. But they were weird. They were like an old, tiny kind of candy. And they were supposed to be hard candy, but they once you started chewing them, they would get chewy. 
and they would stick to your teeth and things, and they would soften up a little bit, but, um, but they were supposed to be peanut butter flavor, but they were weird. They were weird, man, or woman, or whatever, trying to be inclusive, exclusive, I don't know. I don't know what the language is these days, just you can forgive me or whatever. Um, but yeah, it was a weird kind of candy. And um, one of the big, there, there's benefits to peanut butter. It's not just it's the green and it's not like, it's not just because it's tasty, because it is. But you can you use it because it has a lot of protein. It's very heavy, heavy, heavy in the protein. And a lot of people, some people substitute it for uh, for meats or for uh, or for other meat alternatives like people don't if they don't like soy or if they don't like that kind of stuff they'll eat peanut butter and they'll make things out of peanut butter and peanuts um, bodybuilders and people who go to the gym um, who are trying to do like strength training and trying to like beef up their muscles and things they'll a lot of times they'll rely on peanut peanut butter because the the fat content is different in peanut butter than if you have like a, a big burger or if you have a steak or if you have something like that that's real heavy in the fatty area um because when you're when you're doing stuff at like when you're doing the gym and you're doing the bodybuilding that kind of stuff you gotta have fats still because your body needs the energy but you have to get the right balance and peanut butter helps the balance better a lot of times for like snacks and things like that. Now I know you guys have seen when people do those big carb load things where they just eat massive amounts of carbs and massive amounts of proteins and all these other kind of things. But if you're not like trying to bulk up in that fashion, you're just trying to get some energy and some some protein in your system. Peanut butter, peanut butter. It's 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 a perfect fit, and um, so it's got a lot of benefits, a huge amount of benefits. I went through. Where was it? There was there was a time, ways ways back, where where we really really short on money, like super short on money, like ridiculously short on money. And I was like, I gotta, I gotta make sure I got my eat my needs fed for my food, but I gotta cut, I gotta cut out how much I'm eating. You know, I gotta, I can't eat the way I did before. I can't have like all these pizzas and burgers and, and nuggets and all this other stuff. I can't, I can't eat like that. So. I eat peanut butter sandwiches in between meals constantly as my snacks because I was a big snacker. I'm, I still would be a big snacker, I think, if I could get away with it, but I'm not so much anymore. I've kind of cut back. I'm just straight up snacking. I eat now. I eat twice a day, um, heavy protein foods, some carbs, and then I try to sneak in some vitamins here and there, but mostly proteins and and, and some carbs. And it seems to be helping. Like I'm, I've I've lost some weight, and uh, I've lost a ton of weight actually. Not like dangerous levels of weight. Like I'm not suddenly going starving to death or anything like that. Because I wouldn't do that. I, I get hungry and I gotta eat. You know, I got, <laughs> I gotta eat. I'm an eater. But um, but I don't snack. I don't snack like I used to. I used to like basically eat all day. I would have a couple of big meals, and then I would have some pretty good sized snacks throughout the day. Like I would call them snacks. It's kind of like how Garfield the cat sees a snack. How he's like, "Oh, here's the entire refrigerator. That's a nice light snack." And then uh, let me have this gigantic thing for dinner. No, so I've cut back on on my eating habits a lot. And peanut butter, I still do that sometimes. I'll still if I'm like, "Man, I'm just hungry. It's the middle of the day." I don't want to make anything. I don't really have any snacks because I don't keep any snacks in the house much anymore for myself. So, I just take a spoonful, a spoonful of peanut butter. And I don't know why the cat's just shrieking over there. And like, there's there's one cat in my house who's just been, he's been nuts lately. And I don't mean like peanut butter nuts. I just mean he's been crazy, and he's just been crying at me constantly. And he's in, he's in good health. There's nothing wrong with him. He's perfectly healthy. He's perfectly fine. He's got food. He's got water. He's got his litter box and everything. And he just likes to yell at me. So if you hear that on the recording, there you go. His name is Fidget. That's his name. There's a story, I'm sure. But that's not what the show is about. This show is about peanut butter. And earlier on, I talked about Thai cooking. And Thai cooking, they, they there's like a... A Thai peanut sauce. I don't know if they do it in, in curry, like Thai curry, or, or what the particular dishes are that they use it in. 
But if they do it in things, and I've had it sometimes in, in Chinese restaurants too, because sometimes you get some bleed over here in the United States between the different cultures. And uh, and plus, the when you go to like a Chinese buffet here in the United States, chances are most of it's not real Chinese food. It's Chinese-esque. It's the American perception, the United States perception of, of Chinese food. And so it's close. Kind of like how sometimes, like, it's like Taco Bell is not really Mexican food, right? It's... It's kind of Tex-Mex, it's kind of our own spin on Mexican food. But if you actually get real Mexican food, it's it's entirely different, and it's absolutely delicious. Um, but yeah, Thai. This Thai peanut sauce. And I tried to make it, I've tried to make it off and on over the years, and I've used peanut butter, because I've never quite had the right ingredients, because I always think on the spur of the moment, oh, I think with these noodles, I think I'd like some, I'd like some peanut sauce. Yeah, I'm going to go for some Thai, and then I don't have any idea how you make it. I just know it's kind of spicy, and it uses peanuts, and uh, tastes a little bit like peanut butter. So, uh, <laughs> so I've made up my own sauces that way. You melt the peanut butter, and you put in some things. And I don't, I don't even have like a stable like list of what I do with it. I just do it, and it's turned out okay. It hasn't been terrible to me anyway. I don't cook for other people generally. I usually just cook for myself, but uh, that kind of stuff anyway. But um, yeah, Thai food. That could be an episode in the future, Thai food. But I don't have enough places around here that actually have authentic Thai food. So I don't I don't think I'd be able to talk for very long on it. I like Asian food, but um, finding the right kind around here would be difficult. We do have a, like a, a Chinese buffet that I really enjoy. But again, you know, it's not exactly the same. But it's good. It's good stuff. I haven't been there in a while. But peanut butter, it's good. It's it's filling. It's tasty. It's got that salty sweet kind of thing. And uh, some people like their peanut butter more sweet than salty, and some people like it more salty than sweet. Like some people will take peanut butter and they'll dip pretzels in it. Pretzels are real salty. You dip that in the peanut butter, you get extra, you know. And you can put it on your cookies, like I said. You like, you can do a lot with it. And, uh, and I like it. I'm a big fan. Here's something. Here's something kind of out of left field that uh, I've tried it before. It's not, it lowers the healthiness of the of the peanut butter substantially to do it this way. But have you folks ever heard of something called the fluffer nutter sandwich? <laughs> it, I, you're thinking. If you've heard of it, you're like, oh, yeah, that's college food right there. Mm -hmm. Not to mention the activities that might lead to that kind of a thing, um, to be hungry in that fashion. But uh, other people are kind of like, what did you just say? A fluffer nutter sandwich? What What are you talking about? You, you have no idea, do you? You just say these things, and why am I still listening to the show? But the fluffer nutter sandwich is basically peanut butter and marshmallow cream. Not just marshmallows, marshmallow cream. Um, and it's specifically, it's called the Fluffer Nutter because there's like, uh, there's a, a brand of, uh, of marshmallow cream that's called Fluffer something or other. It's, I, I don't know, remember what it's called. I, most marshmallow creams, they have something in them that I, that I can't eat. I don't remember what it is or that we can't eat here. I don't remember what the ingredient was. It was something... Maybe I can eat it and nobody else in the house can eat it. And I'm not going to get a whole container of marshmallow cream myself. No. I'm not a big fan of just straight up marshmallow things. I don't like Peeps, the Easter things. I don't... You know, I'm not a big fan of just straight up marshmallow. I've got to have it mixed with something else. And uh, it's sparingly... If that, I'm not. I'm not a big marshmallow fan. Occasionally, in like a cup of hot cocoa or something, I don't know. But I'm not a marshmallow person. Maybe if you go camping and you have like a marshmallow over the fire, just one or two. Not, not any more than that. I can't. It's not, not my thing. Blah. But uh, <laughs> people out there going, he doesn't like marshmallows. Screw this guy. Get off the air. You're canceled. Um, but the fluffer nutter sandwich. The fluffer nutter sandwich. It is. Two slices of bread, peanut butter, and marshmallow cream. And there it is. 
and that's it's it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous sandwich. But uh, I have had them before, and they uh, they're let's let's just call them a once a year extravagance at best. I <laughs> I can't have that much fluff or nutter all at once. I guess would be the term for it. I don't know. It's just too much sweetness mixing with the peanut butter and things. But then there's, you know, the peanut butter and chocolate crowd. Chocolate and peanut butter. You can do that in infinite combinations. You can do it with candy. You can do it with cookies. You can just take a drizzle of chocolate and pour it over a spoonful of peanut butter and just eat it straight up. If you're lazy and you're low on culture. Um, (laughs) But I won't look down on you for it. I'll say, hey, you know, go ahead. Put chocolate in your peanut butter. I've made my own... uh, peanut butter and chocolate things at home too not for a while not for a long time i've only done it a couple times here in the house because as a kid we would take like we'd mix peanut butter and chocolate together put it in a bowl that's been you know lightly not greased i guess but maybe the grease is the word it was the 80s and uh you put the melted chocolate and peanut butter in there and you'd let it freeze and then you just pop it out and it's like a big chocolate um, peanut butter bar, like a big candy bar, basically, with nothing else in it. Sometimes you mix in uh, oatmeal or, or, or something, or something crispy, like the Rice Krispies or, or something like that. So I've done that in the past. I'm not a chocolatier, though. Like, you you have to actually have a specific kind of chocolate that melts and then reforms to make something like a Reese's Cup or like a, uh, like a Buckeye which is something specific to here in Ohio. We have Buckeyes, which are lumps of peanut butter surrounded by chocolate. My goodness, they are absolutely delicious. And if I get any, I have to stop eating because I'll eat 12,000 of them all at once if they're available. And I, uh, it overwhelms my sweet tooth. And then like days after that, I'm kind of like, oh, why did I do that? They were so delicious. But no, nah, they're so gross. But they were delicious. Buckeyes. <laughs> This show has gone all over the place already. This is uh, this is season two. Welcome to season two of Let's Talk About This. Once again, the coolest and best and most active edition of any other show that starts with Let's Talk About. <laughs> stabby, stabby, stabby. Uh, <laughs> that's just an in-joke for people who don't know, and for people who do know, then you know. And uh, so, yeah peanut butter there's some things you can't really do with peanuts like peanut butter though like i've never heard of anybody making a soup out of peanut butter i'm sure somebody has i'm sure there's like a peanut soup how somebody's put like because it's probably like an asian soup of some kind of a stew um but i have i you know i've never heard of anybody taking peanut butter and putting it in a soup i don't know that might be weird it might be a worthwhile experiment, but if if somebody else there gets to it before I do, by all means drop a comment when this goes to YouTube. Or on the Spider Does Things page, of course, because that is the repository of everything I do. Both on YouTube and Facebook. Spider Does Things on Facebook. Please like, share, subscribe, all those big old buzzwords. Share with your friends. Tell them if you like this show. Because, yeah, I'm looking to grow, looking to expand, do more with the show and the content. And I have a lot more content than just this. If you like this content, which is maybe surprising or not, then uh, you may also like the various videos I produce. I have tasting videos. I have robot unboxing videos. I have gaming videos. I have all sorts of things. And I'm going to expand into more things. I might be doing... I'm getting people asking me to do music again. People want me to do music interviews with musicians and things, which I have not done for a long time. Not since I was on that other Let's Talk About show that has been inactive for five or six years. So... Stabby, stabby. Uh, So maybe... Maybe... I might get back into that. I don't know. I'm I'm kind of on the fence about that kind of stuff. I want to get back into some interview shows, but at the same time, I like having a couple interviews on this 
and then calling it a day. And uh, I don't know. What do you folks think? Do you folks want me to do interviews on a more regular basis? Do you want me to get back into the music? Back into the music? Would you like me to talk about the music? (coughs) With musical people again? People are asking for it. People are asking for it. Maybe I'll do, I, I don't know, and I keep thinking maybe I should do other stuff too, like movie reviews and game reviews, but I don't know. I don't know. So many options out there. Peanut butter. It's delicious. If you have a peanut allergy, I'm sorry. This show was not for you. We will get to you, folks. Don't worry. I'll find something that you like, and we'll pick something out. All right? But peanut butter. Very versatile. Good for you. Very good for you. Lots of lots of nutrients along with just the protein. Protein's a big one. But there's other nutrients in there also. Check out the nutritional label the next time you're at the grocery store and see all the benefits that you can gain from a bit of peanut butter. And now that I've said that, people are like, oh, he's part of big peanut butter. He's part of the peanut butter industrial complex. It's all just a show to get us to buy more peanut butter. Okay. (laughs) If that's what you think. If you're into that kind of talk, then you might want to uh, hop on over to uh, to Night Dreams because they do some weird stuff like that, and they think they're funny. (laughs) They are funny, but not in the way that they think they are. (laughs) There's some sharks being jumped on over there. Let me tell you. Oh, my goodness. But, oh, yeah. So that's it. And that's what we've got. Peanut butter. And I'm glad you folks were here to discuss this with me even though I didn't hear any of you say anything because obviously I wouldn't because you're just tuning in to listen but I'm sure you had a lot to say in your own home and I would love to hear more about it so you if you have questions comments recipes if you have recipes for peanut butter related food items oh my goodness I want to hear them send them to me in a variety of ways you can drop a comment on this on YouTube, on the Spider Does Things YouTube channel. You can go to my Facebook page, also called Spider Does Things, on Facebook. You can email me at uncannyspiritsclub at gmail.com. Let me make sure that there's no weird the in there. Because I might have been for... Nope. There's no the, so it's uncanny spirits club at gmail.com. And uh, I would love to have your recipes. I would love to have recipes. I, lo- I like peanut butter. I like making new things out of it. I, I would love to. If you have successfully made a soup with peanut butter, then get at me. Because f- fair play to you, sir or madam, or otherwise. Because <laughs> I don't think it's possible. I don't think you can make a proper soup out of peanut butter. But if you think you can, I would love to try it. I really would. Mostly it's desserts for me. Or just sandwiches, you know. That's what it is. What it is. So that's it. That's, uh, that's tonight's show. That is tonight's show. And uh, I hope you're enjoying... The new start of Let's Talk About This with your good buddy Spider. That's me. And we're going to be keeping to the same format. It's going to be, you know, anywhere from, I don't know, 20 minutes to 20 hours. Probably not that long. 20 hours to 2 hours. Probably not even that long. Probably more like 20 minutes to a half hour. Sometimes longer. On Mondays, 930 Mondays at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with On Demand playing on YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, uh, Apple Podcasts, rather, Amazon Podcasts, Google Play Podcasts, uh, wherever else this gets sent to, it gets sent all around the globe to all kinds of places. Season 2 
of Let's Talk About This. This is only the first episode. We've got 20 episodes to go. We do. We're not stopping until we hit episode 40. And then it'll be time for another break. (laughs) Probably. And then it'll be season three. Then it'll be season three. But yeah. Thanks for being here. And uh, spread the word. Tell everybody you know. Tune in. Listen to Let's Talk About This. Eat some peanut butter. Tell me how it was. Good night.